What are the limits of engineering? On this channel, we have looked at gigantic planets and colossal stars in size comparison videos. But what about human structures? What are the limits of technology in terms of scale and size? In today's video, we will look at the largest structures ever imagined and go into some of the reasons why we would build these structures. Let's dive into the fascinating topic of astronomical engineering. The largest building is currently the Boeing Everett factory at 13.3 million square meters in area. It was built as a facility where airplanes could be assembled inside. It was constructed in 1967, that's more than half a century ago, and it shows that there's no rush to build an even bigger structure. This is because there must be a purpose for one and an incentive to do so. On Earth, the opportunities for an even larger structure are limited. Gigantic constructions over a thousand kilometers in length are classed as a form of mega engineering. Currently, only a few structures loosely fit this definition, such as the Great Wall of China. Different sub-branches of mega-scale engineering are known, such as planetary engineering, which involves multiple manipulation techniques, such as terraforming, and the seeding of life change the conditions on the planet. Astronomical engineering, or astro-engineering for short, is the largest form of mega-scale engineering. This is where structures are being built on the scale of a star or larger. An interesting question arises when we look at structures of this scale. What purpose would such structures serve? Seeing as earthbound structures seem to stop getting bigger at a particular scale, why the discontinuous jump? There are multiple reasons why, but most of these colossal structures we will look at all have one thing in common. They require enormous amounts of energy to fulfill their purpose. So let's dive into some of these structures. A common example used for astro-engineering is a Dyson Sphere. This is a structure designed to enclose and harness the entire energy of a star. Such a gigantic structure is far beyond what's possible today, and there are several constraints with building such a device. One of which is that a Dyson Sphere can't be a single solid structure, as one which is the size of the orbit of Mars or larger would be impractical and impossible to build. The way we might be able to build one would be through constructing countless satellites that orbit the star, harvesting its energy. As we build more and more, the percentage of sunlight captured would begin to increase until almost all the sunlight is captured and we attain mastery over the energy output of the solar system. The Dyson Sphere has many uses, and some specific use cases have different names. Matryoshka brains are Dyson Spheres that utilize the energy of a star for computational purposes. Such a structure would be made in layers, with the innermost layer directly capturing energy from the star, and the outer layers relying on heat emitted from the innermost layer. What kind of computations would be done on this scale is hard to imagine, but possible uses include ultra-accurate simulations of the past, present, and future, as well as advanced experimentation and mathematical computations. A stellar engine is another class of Dyson Sphere, which I covered in my recent video, which redirects the star to navigate an entire solar system away from dangers, such as black holes and gamma ray bursts. If you want to learn more about stellar engines, check out the link in the description below. Starlifting is the concept of drawing matter from a star for several important reasons. For one, the enormous amount of material collected could be enough to construct entire planets, create energy, and to gather raw material for future uses. Secondly, Drawing energy from a star can help to optimize its size and lengthen its lifespan. To this effect, a normal star could have its lifespan extended by trillions of years. To perform such a feat, a powerful spacefaring civilization would be needed that could build either a Dyson Sphere or a gigantic magnetic field generated by other means. Either method for performing star lifting is still far out of our reach. An Alderson disk is a giant disk with a diameter somewhere between that of Mars and Jupiter to make it heavier than the solar system. With a thin area of habitability on the disk, civilization could exist on either side of it, and a hole in the middle of the disk would allow the sun to peak up and down, causing night through the appearance and disappearance of the sun. Such a gigantic disk is currently not possible by any known means, but it does conjure fantastic visions of what a society on a disk could look like. Some science fiction authors have imagined one type of civilization existing on one side of the dish and a vastly different civilization existing on the other side. The possibilities for world building are endless. Finally, there is also a chance a future civilization may construct a solar system sized particle accelerator. Particle accelerators on Earth, such as the Large Hadron Collider, are limited in power and size. The larger the collider, the higher the energy of the collisions. 
A particle collider the size of Mars could create conditions where the strong and weak force are unified. A particle collider the size of the orbit of Neptune could be large enough to also have gravity unified into one force. At these scales, we would then have a much greater understanding of gravity as well. So we would build a larger collider of this scale to fully understand many fundamental concepts about our universe. There is one final question I want to explore in this video. What kind of civilizations would be able to undertake astro-engineering projects? The civilization would need to be spacefaring, be capable of harnessing the energy of their entire planet, and would need to have colonized multiple planets within their solar system. The reason for this is because the energy and resources needed for all these structures requires a solar system sized civilization. This means that at least for now, these colossal visions are beyond our capabilities. Astro engineering gives us wonder and amazement about just how huge we could build in the future. The awesome scale of these structures is difficult to truly understand and building some of these would be even more difficult still. What are your favorite astro engineering projects? Leave a comment below with your favorite one. And as always, Thanks for watching.